as you're going to see all over the country, the, the, one of the more famous and, and, and fun things that, that occurred back in that time was puppetry. And they, had, they held uh, shows, and uh, even today there's a lot of uh, statues and, and um, I mean, and extending all the way down through Thailand to Cambodia. Uh, puppetry and puppet shows and things like that. We're depicting uh, different action dramas and things like that that weren't uh, necessarily acted out on stage by people. It's got an art form to it. It's definitely interesting. And <clears throat> beyond beyond even northern Indochina, uh, puppetry goes all the way down to Sumatra, Java, far far down into Indonesia. You can see the use and employment of marionettes and. This is just one example, I guess. All right, so all along the entryways, in fact, some of some of the uh, interior area, the courtyard of the, the temple itself, has all these little shops, and they've got paint uh, paintings, sculptures, uh, well, some some bronze figurines, and things like that. But the, my favorite stuff to look at is this stuff, which is obviously very, uh, very much authentic. You know, they. Um, even if it was made recently, uh, the, the locals bring it here and, 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 and it shows the original style of, of molding the bronze and things like this. And one of the cooler things you can buy is one of these, which simply is a chime that hangs uh, from a string or a rope. And then of course there are bells. And they sound magical. I love the way that when they've cast it, they, they sound it's just like a, a very long, resonating ring. It's got a very cool sound to it. Very, very Buddhist. Almost spiritual.